everybody, it's Dave Duford here at DavidDuford.com, where I help insurance agents like you become top producing insurance professionals. And in today's video, I am specifically going to be talking to the PHP insurance agents of the world. This video is for you. And here's what I'm bringing to the table today. I've been doing a series of videos on other organizations and giving them advice on what it takes to be successful. And I'd like to spend some time giving you five pointers that I think will be very good to seriously consider to give you the best opportunity to make the most out of your career with PHP insurance. So let me jump right in and give you my thoughts on what you can do right now to get better results. And this is good whether you're a new agent to PHP experience or if you're a prospective agent, you haven't quite signed the dotted line and you want to take a few steps to uh, make sure that this particular organization is in your best interest. So the first thing I want to talk about is riding along before committing. I think this is really important. This is general advice I give really any agent who gets involved in selling insurance. Much of your success, if you bring the willpower and the work ethic, depends upon the organization and specifically the perfect the person directly above you and what they have to offer in terms of, of their skills and training you and what they can show you as far as what's possible. What you have to be very wary of in the insurance business is getting involved in an agency that cannot and will not train you. Perhaps they have only been in the organization for a short period of time and they're taught to recruit first, sell later, that is a bad combination for a willing agent who wants to be successful. The way to think about the insurance business is very much like the apprenticeship businesses and the guilds of old. You want to learn the selling of insurance, the craft of selling insurance from a person who actually does it for real. So before you have a full commitment to PHP, make sure that you do a ride along, ask for a ride along because that allows you to literally vet the person who's recruiting you to make sure they know what they're doing and they can explain how and what they do so that you can shorten this learning curve. And trust me, it's a lot bigger than you think. It's very simple. It's very easy from the uh, outside looking in, especially watching a skilled agent. But man, when you actually get out there, it's, it's usually a lot more difficult than you'd imagine. Number two, you also have to understand that life insurance sales is a numbers game predominantly. Now, that doesn't mean you can't be a dope, that you don't need to know a sales presentation rehearse and memorize and internalize a script or know your products. But understand that at the end of the day, this is not like a uh, desk job where you work nine to five and get paid regardless of what you do or what little you do. You see in the insurance business, it's all about seeing the people. You have to have prospects to sell to, right? Otherwise you don't have a job. It doesn't matter who you represent, PHP or otherwise, you're in a position to where you're not gonna make much money. So understand that when you get involved with PHP or any insurance agency, you want to understand and implement a strategy where you're always talking to people to sell them insurance on a daily basis. How much is enough? It's going to depend on the product. It's going to depend on how much time you're giving into this business. But I have heard time and again in different capacities that 15 appointments a week is the magic number. That's when things really start to turn out well. You can run appointments to where things don't work out okay, but you got 14 more people to see and you feel confident you can continue to go. And not every appointment matters. You care, but not that much. And the odds are with that many numbers, you're going to see some sales that week. And uh, you, know, you make a sale, it keeps the uh, bill collector away. So make sure that you go into this business with the idea of constantly talking to new people. And more importantly, this is important too, make sure that you are taught a prospecting and lead generation system that can get you to that desired number of appointments a week. You should ask before you get recruited, how am I going to get in front of enough prospects so I can sell? Because now you know that you just, because you have a license and you represent a certain agency, doesn't necessarily mean that everybody's gonna be stampeding through your door, handing their checks over to you. No, that's not how it works. You gotta go fight to see them and you have to best of all have a system that predictably puts you in front of prospects. So make sure there is that system in place. If there's not, have a, uh, a second thoughts on joining. Number three, find success and duplicate it. I can guarantee you if you're looking into joining PHP that you are gonna be exposed to people who are very successful selling for PHP in the field. My advice to you 
is to crawl on your knees, on hands and knees, over broken glass, doing whatever you can do to get in front of those top producing PHP agents and beg to learn how they do it. Ride along with them. Ask them how they do it, how they prospect, what they present. Expose yourself to their training. You see, again, this goes back to the first point. This is a guild slash apprentice type of business. And what you that means is you want to learn, if you want to learn how to be a successful insurance agent, you've got to learn from the best. You've got to learn from somebody who does, who takes action. It's not enough just to you know learn from somebody who talks about how great the business is and all the money you can make and all this stuff. You have to vet that claim against what they've been able to accomplish. There is a big delineation between recruiters in this business, people who recruit agents, and those who actually go out in the field and sell. Now, there's some people like me. I recruit agents. I have plenty of field experience, primarily in final expense, and I also train agents. So I kind of run both paths, but generally speaking, you see one or the other. It's very odd you'll see a top producer who's a successful recruiter. So be wary. If you're recruited and they don't know how to sell or don't have much experience selling, then, you know, again, you're not going to get the kind of training that you really should be getting. Number four, make sure that you're totally bought in. This is really important. I believe one of the biggest reasons people fail out of this business is because of a lack of belief in the company or the product that's being sold. Belief is the foundation to success. If you don't believe in your product or your company you represent, it's only a matter of time before you fail out. And it's very difficult, understandably, to know if you believe fully in the co company or the product before you get started. But my point is, if you have this gut feeling like really from the beginning, you shouldn't ignore it. It's it's a sensation that's directly tied with human evolution. The gut is tied directly to the brain. And the instincts that you feel in your stomach almost are, are, are I would look at uh, uh, survival instincts. <laughs> your, your, your stomach's telling you, look out, this is not a good idea. And you should listen to that gut more. So if you get the idea that PHP is not for you, the culture is not right for you, the product's not right for you, don't do it anyway. Take your time. Don't rush in. I assure you, there are many organizations that would love to talk to you about their opportunity to sell insurance. So investigate. See what the other options are. And that brings me to point number five, is that you're going to be in a situation where you need to make sure you consider a second opinion. Again, a lot of people fail out of the insurance business because they jumped in with both feet, which is good on some accords, but without having the proper understanding of what the other options are available as far as agencies, products, and the support systems out there. Make sure you investigate fully. The questions you're going to want to ask about uh, if you're looking for a second opinion would be things like commission level. How does commission level with PHP compare to your alternatives? What kind of support do you get with alternatives compared to PHP? What type of products are the primary products? Is this something that you can scale and you can reasonably hit 15 appointments a week to make a profitable run in this business? And then what is the lead and prospecting systems like in comparison? Perhaps one organization does primarily referral-based marketing using your warm list of, of friends, family, and associates. And another uses a completely paid lead generation source so you don't have to go to the people you know to sell. Not, there's not one that's right or wrong. It comes down to what are you comfortable with? What, are you, uh, what appeals to you most? And again, we want to get into the insurance business with all of the odds stacked in our favor. This is a very tough business. There's no uh, surprise to me that 95% plus probably fail out of the business within the first year because all of these factors I mentioned are in misalignment. So you've got to work very diligently right from the beginning to make sure everything is stacked in your favor. And one of the things that will help you figure out which organization, which product, which circumstance is best suited for you is taking your time, not rushing in and exploring all the options so you can make the best decision on which direction to go in the insurance business. My name is David Duford. I own and operate davidduford.com and this YouTube channel, of course. I help insurance agents become top producers, primarily teaching and training and recruiting agents to sell final expense, mortgage protection, annuities, as well as Medicare supplements. If you like this content, please subscribe. I'd ask you to go to my website, davidduford.com, if you're interested in learning more about working with my organization 
click the button at the top that says join David's agency and there you'll learn all about the products and systems that I help agents get started in the insurance business with. David Duford here, logging off. We'll see you next time. So long.